Hello everyone, my name is Gina and welcome to Season Beauties. Our video on today, I've been wanting to do this for a minute, but here we go, here we go. All right, so did any of you happen to purchase this? This is what it actually looks like, okay? Now, this is supposed to be a washing machine for our beauty blenders. I want to ask you, is this a glorified kid's toy or does it really work? That's what we're going to find out today. And I've already recorded it. I already know the answer. I'm trying not to just bear with me. Okay, so according to the packaging, it says the beauty washing machine and the directions say how to use fill with warm water to the fill line i'll have you know it's not very high but understand why power machine on with button to start cleaning can be used for blenders and makeup brushes blenders hold the top down while in use brushes hold makeup brush while cleaning and then drain water using the hose after use rinse before next use that's what it says i'm reading it right off the box okay now what i read to you it said this is what the machine actually looks like this is the hose this is how it came you need i'm just gonna let you know right off the bat you do need two triple a batteries so be prepared when you purchase it okay now it says fill to fill line which is about halfway okay this is what the inside looks like now when you see the actual video you will see it a little clearer okay this is the on off switch right here okay now it said when we put the blenders in you have to hold the top down. It is a dome right here so that beauty blenders will stay in place. I'm sorry. I just know what's going to happen, okay? Um, and then you go ahead and you clean it. Now, what they forgot to tell you is when you're going to put your soap in. Remember, when you put your water in to put the, your cleanser or your soap in it so that it will actually come clean okay no i'm not giving anything away i'm just going based on what the box says okay now it says you have to hold this down if it's a blender but it's telling you you can also do brushes what does that mean you have to leave the top open there's no way you're going to be able to close this with a brush of any size okay just so you know Okay, then I'm going to show you the video here, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it again, okay? Just keep watching.
All right, so what'd you think? Hmm. Now, for me, in reality, okay, it probably would work very, very well with a smaller blender because what they forgot when you wash a blender, when you wet a blender, it goes from this to this. So although this may fit in the machine, very quickly after being in there, it's going to be this size and it is not going to rotate. It is not going to rotate. And I know not, not everybody is like me, but I'm gonna need this to be really clean. I, I don't want any residue at all, okay? I want it to be really clean, okay? And just sitting in soapy water doesn't clean it, okay? Now, if you notice in the video, each time I lifted it, you could hear the rotator again. So clearly, it becomes too large when the water hits it. Now, that's not the reason that it didn't turn. The reason it didn't turn is because it became too heavy with the water inside. So, in theory, yes, it was a good idea. And I guess technically it is a good idea, but we'll revisit it again with a small blender. Okay, I didn't have one that I used so that we could really test it out, but I will. So we'll revisit this again very, very soon with a small blender. But let me know your thoughts down below. Tell me what you think. Maybe I'm expecting too much. Don't think so, but maybe I'm expecting too much. But I don't know. Is this worth the money? Now, I will tell you, not for me. Not for me, only because, well, I won't say that. I won't say that yet. But as of right now, I'm going to say this is not for me. Now, after we use one of the mini blenders, let's see what happens, or mini sponges, whatever you want to call it. Okay, we'll see what happens. But as it stands right now, this is not for me because I'm going to take it out of here and clean it anyway, so I might as well do it right the first time. Okay, I'm just saying. That's just me. And like I said, everybody may not be over the top like I am. They told me it was too much to wash my brushes after every use, but y'all can do whatever you want. I'm just saying, for me, I do wash my brushes after each use. How can you put on a different shade of eyeshadow on top of an old one? I don't understand. But nonetheless, my husband is on the other side of this camera cutting up okay i want you to know that he's over there asking who me right now yes him absolutely him so but nonetheless if you would like to really try it out okay i'm gonna tell you wait until boxycharm does its um drop shop I paid $9 for this. If I paid more than $9 for this, we'd be having a different kind of discussion right now. Okay? But $9 is not going to hurt my feelings. But I want to see what happens when we use a smaller blender. It, the weight shouldn't be the same, nor should the size be the same. It may come out to what it was when we first started, but certainly not this size. Okay, let me know your thoughts down below, okay? I just want to let you know, I thank you so very much for choosing to spend time with me on today as we check this out, okay? Remember, regardless of the season that you are in, you will always be a seasoned beauty. Until next time.